what it looks like to me. Now see the referee's having to search him because Robbie Ruffin is complaining that he has the foreign object in his tight. Which well, that's I don't, not true. I don't think the referee is searching in the right places. Well let's get back here. See they cannot wrestle without Robbie Ruffin complaining and crying to the referee. Looks like Baron's putting something in his mouth to me Tony. I disagree with you there. He's just uh, a little upset because of he really wants to get it going on. You know, he, he, now watch this. We're going to do a little test of strength. You know, tonight is the grand finale of NWA wrestling at the Grand Slam in Columbia, Tennessee. We've had a great two-year run, and our friend Mickey, and I will say Vicky is our friend because he has been a staunch supporter of NWA main event. We appreciate what he's done for us, and we won't forget what Mickey's done for us. But this is the grand finale of NWA Main Event Wrestling. After tonight, there will be no NWA Wrestling at the Grand Slam USA. We're moving right across town to the Armory Recreational Center on Carter Street. The old National Guard Armory will be starting there Saturday, September 29th, and be returning every Saturday night at 8 o'clock. And, Tony, I know you're excited about that. Yes, sir. And I'm very excited about being in the NWA. And I've had some classic matches right there at the Grand Slam. And I'm happy to be part of the grand finale. And Bubba Morton and Crow, I'm telling you, I got a partner in the Beast. And we are going to take care of business tonight. And then we're going to move right on next week to the new building, the Armory Recreation Center, Mike Porter. And when we finish these two guys, you're going to have to find us a couple of new opponents. I'm telling you, because we're going to move on. I told you people last week that this year is almost over with and the year 2002 is going to be here before you know it. And I've got a lot of surprises, Mike Porter, in store for everyone. You know, Tony Falk, we are negotiating with Bill Barons and Howard Brody about bringing the NWA World Tag Team Champions in this area to do a couple of spots for us. And I know we're going to have them in uh, Columbia on that one of those Saturday nights when they're here to face Ernesto and Daniels uh, for the world title. Yes, I understand. You really have a lot of pull nowadays with the NWA. So, I mean, I know NWA is everywhere, and you got promoters bidding and trying to get the champions to come in. And now I understand that you've got them coming in right here. And all the wrestling fans out there, this is your opportunity to see the NWA World Tag Team Champion. So when Mike Porter signs this match and this card is booked, I I'm telling you people, you need to come on out because you don't know when you'll get a chance like this again. Looks like to me that Gordon's interfering, getting the referee's attention while Perry's over there in the corner doing his dirty work. Uh, I did not see that. I don't know what you're talking about, Farron Fox. He's been able to do everything on his own. He, he doesn't need any help from anyone. You see right now he's uh, in control of this match. There's a big uh, clothesline. Look at Farron. He, he, I'm telling you, he really enjoys wrestling, and he's been doing it for a few years now. Nobody home, Tony. Come on, Farron. Robbie Ruffin's trying to get the fans behind him. The referee counting. Come on, fans. Look at those. That was a close pass. Robbie Ruffin me. taking offensive. Throws Barron in. Flying clothesline. And he's going for the pin. One. Got a one pin. Got the one count, Tony. See that that's all he's got. a little raking of the eyes, I understand. Now there goes Gordon up again, getting the referee's attention while Farron's getting his parasol. Robbie's taking it to him right now. Uh oh. Robbie Ruffin's got the parasol. Gordon attracting the referee, keeping his attention over there. What's what's Farron doing? Uh oh. Tony, did you <laughs> see that? That had to be salt. There's no to. way. Tojo Yamamoto used to use that same thing. You take a bag of salt, throw it in his opponent's eyes, and you know that's probably going to be the end of the match if the referee will turn around. Gordon will leave him alone. 
One, two, three, and for the three count, your winner, Farron Fox, and I might add he did it illegal. All I can tell you, Farron Fox is the winner, and ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. Farron Fox, tonight at the grand finale, I heard what you said you were going to do. I don't plan on kissing any little toes. Tonight at the Grand Slam, Farron Fox, when I beat you one, two, three in the middle of that ring, I think I got something else you're going to kiss, and it's not going to be toes. But tonight at the Grand Finale, at the Grand Slam, folks, I'll see you there, and next week I'll see you at the new building in Columbia.